Hello. Today we're going to go over making a very simple security camera system with Unreal Engine 4. First we're going to start off with just a very simple one camera system. Then we'll add two cameras for our second system. And then at the very end of the video we'll mess around with the three and maybe four camera system just to show you just to show you some UV manipulation stuff because that's kind of the main point of this project is um, not really about too much about the scene capture part that's easy we're just going to use a scene capture component um, but just showing some UV manipulation and how we can get our different video feeds and uh, connect them together on a single material uh, that we can then like render out to a screen uh, so to get started uh, we're going to use our third person template just to give us some area to run around in very easily we'll make a folder for our security system And we're going to need a material for our screen, so we'll just call this screen material. And we're going to need a render target for the screen capture component. So we'll call this uh, camera render target. And then of course we'll need a blueprint for our system. So we'll base that off of an actor. And we'll call this security system. So we'll open up our security system. And here we'll add a cube. This can be like our screen. And then we also need a scene capture. And this is the actual like security camera for it. Pop that up there. Put up the defaults, compile, save that. And for our cube, or our screen, we're going to put this material we made on it. And the scene capture, we want to connect our render target to that. Then we just need to open our material. I'll save that real quick. And the material, real easy. You just bring that in. Connect to emissive. So I'll zoom in so you can see there. Connect into emissive. Apply. Save. And if we close that and drag our camera out, we can see our camera feed shows up on our cube. So that's the very easy simple part one. Getting your security camera up. If we move the scene you can see that's our camera on the cube. Alright. Alright for our second system we're going to take all this, duplicate it, then we'll open up security system 2 for the screen. We're going to assign our new material to it. And then we're going to add a second scene capture. viewport, line those up, Let's offset one, we want to be able to tell that we're looking at a different camera, and then to prevent distorting our screen we're actually going to make the cube bigger. And our second scene capture component is going to need our second render target. Uh, the first one's fine, we want to keep our render target so they each have their own render target. So this one still has render target one from when we copied. 
And then we assigned our new render target for the duplicated one to our second scene capture component. And then of course we assigned our new duplicated material because we're going to make a few small changes to the material. Now that's all we really need to do to the main system. We just got to update the material. So right now if we pull this out, you see we're only getting the one camera because we're still, we may have switched the material but we haven't actually done anything yet. So. We're going to want our second render target. We'll bring that in quick first. So that's our original render target one. And here we have render target two. We'll grab our texture coordinate. Texture coordinates. Duplicate that on the first one. We're going to set our U tiling to two and just drag that into both of our texture samples. And then here we want our channel, specifically our R channel. We want to take that into an if. And match that up with a constant of 0.5. So this is going to do, is based off of our texture coordinate, our U here. If we're on one half of the text texture, we'll put this texture. And if we're on the other half, We'll be putting this texture and then because we've um, made our u-tiling too this will put the whole texture of this on one side and this whole texture on the other side so hopefully that makes sense so now instead of going straight to emissive we want this one our first texture to be a and this will make our second texture b and we can just put that into emissive Doing some housekeeping, try to keep our material clean. So we'll apply there. Save. And if we go back to our scene, you can see we have our two different camera feeds on our cube there. And then, yeah, of course, since we're putting two square materials next to each other, if we didn't um, make our cube more of a rectangle shape, our maps would be squished there. So you have to stretch out your cube a little bit to deal with that. So yeah, that's essentially part two there. Some simple stitching of two different uh, camera feeds onto a cube. We can go into here. Yeah, you'll see we can move around one camera, and that's the one half. Our one camera feed. Our second camera feed. Right there. Now these two cameras right now have the same render target, so that's actually causing some problems. We could make a fresh render target, and probably should make a fresh render target for this one. Otherwise, we'll end up with a weird bug with both of those in there. They're both probably they're both trying to update the same render target. So, what we could do to prevent that, though, is uh, duplicate this. Go into our security two. Grab this one and tell it to use its own render target. This guy. Compile, save that. Now, of course, that's not going to do anything yet. Now, in terms of getting our feed from this camera, now we've actually broken it. See, this one's not showing anything because these are both cameras are both using the same render target. Um, it's actually getting from this feed. If I move this camera around, 
can see that's that. So you got to want to watch that. These if these are both writing to the same render target. You don't know which one you're going to get. But now that this camera here is writing to our new render target, we just duplicate it out. Just to fix this square uh, screen, go back into here. And then instead of using um, our old render target here, we can actually just go in and switch it right here with our new one. And hit apply. That should fix that problem. And now if we go back, we have our camera back because they're no longer sharing the same render target. Now for the last part, I'm just going to get rid of these. And we're going to duplicate our material and our system again. Open up our system. We're going to turn our screen back into a cube shape. And add a third screen or scene capture. This one, uh, we'll just put our original render target back onto it. Should be our first one here because our other render targets should be set to these two. So compile, save that. And then we also need our new material assigned to our screen. on so each of these should be their own render targets perfect and that's what we want there and open up our material and drag in our render target here and now what we're going to do is actually add the third camera to the bottom as like a full screen on the bottom uh, without stretching it or anything so we have to do a few different things to accomplish that for one we want our screen to actually capture that width otherwise it no matter what if we try to render to that extra wide um, it'll be distorted unless we're actually capturing that way so we'll capture twice as wide so our screen capture is what we need Save that to the render target. It's going to mess up the old one, but that's just an example. So that's why I got rid of the other two cameras from the screen or, or from the scene. And yeah, we don't need to do anything else to the render target really. Uh, we have to make sure you use the right one. And that's why these two actually have to be the same size to accomplish what we've been doing. And now I'm going to copy this. So we need basically all the same logic we're going to need to name our parameters this is our R channel and this is going to be our green or G channel and then we'll send our texture here into there this will now be the bottom here so we can see how our tiling starting to come together We'll just redrag in our render target. And we got to set up our UVs a little bit differently. So for this one, we want to tile it vertically so that it's splitting itself in two. And then for these, we want to make sure we're set now to two on both. So you can see that it's actually split it into four for our screen, but then as we do our kind of masking in between with screens, you'll only see the two 
and then this one will be on the top. So we hit apply. And drag our camera out, or our system out. I'll grab that third camera. Move it somewhere. And yeah, you can see we have our main camera on the bottom. Nothing's being distorted because we're using our UV tiling properly. And we have our two smaller cameras. So there's a little kind of bonus part three where we use our UVs and tiling to stitch together three different uh, screens and one of them's even a different size. So no distortion happening there. So that'll be all for this video. It's just a simple screen capture and UV manipulation. Kind of just learning how to um, work with UVs and texture images uh, to combine them together onto a single material. So you can see the main trick there is to use the appropriate channels as your masks and then set your tiling so that your image is showing up in the right spot and lurk together with your masks. Keep it in mind that like your U channel and your R channel from the text coordinates are kind of like the same thing and then your V and your G channel are essentially the same channel. Alright, so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, you all take care. Have a good one.